we decided to shoot this introduction out here on the St. Louis River, which is a quarter of a mile where we live along a gravel road and Bachelor Square Road in Meadowlands, Minnesota, which is about 45 miles northwest of Duluth, Minnesota. We wanted to have this shot here because the river is so beautiful. We come down here to center ourselves and it's so much like what reminds us of the Amazon River down in the places where our cocoa beans are grown and then shipped up here. The community has been so supportive of us and we're excited about being able to build, make our chocolate in the, in the small kitchen at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Meadowlands. Yeah. So it's a, real, it's a real comfort thing both with location and atmosphere but our favorite thing, really, I mean, it has become making this great chocolate. And we love it because it comes from the flavor of the land. We just uh, take a bite and it's, it's just this fantastic variety of flavors. So now we're looking to continue forward. Our business is growing more quickly than we can keep up in a sense. So we just need new equipment and we need to be able to keep up by getting bulk beans and that's why we've decided to start the Kickstarter project and see how it goes. Yes, we have to have bigger equipment. We use the same machine uh, that we crack and shell with to shear the beans and start forcing the inherent oil out of the bean. So the difference is this screen goes in here. The friction heats up the bean which starts forcing the oil out, and the blades cut it into ever smaller particles. Look at that. That is the same as this. There is no difference. <laughs> that, is, that just amazes me. <laughs> Look at that. We want to be able to keep small batches. We do need to get bigger to meet the demand, but we still want small batches because in small batches you can really taste and listen to what each uh, single origin of cacao bean has to offer in terms of flavor profile, texture, um, and we love that. We're sort of like ushers of flavor. Gooey! That's going to get smooth and then we'll add sugar. Uh, we buy our cane sugar bulk and they, what we get comes in 25 pound paper bags. After I measure it out, I put it in the roaster and I heat the sugar up to 175 degrees because I want it to be hot when I add it to the cacao liquor. One of the exciting things about what we're doing is that we chose four countries of origin. So when you taste one from Nicaragua versus the Venezuela or the Bolivia or the Dominican Republic, you get a totally different feeling. It's the same thing, cacao beans and cane sugar. But there's this unbelievable difference between one valley and the next. And that is the land. And we respect that and we want to continue to, to just have people try each origin for its own sake. And part of our passion is for the land where it was grown, the farmers who are, who are farming the cacao beans and the cocoa plantations down there because we know they're being fairly paid and uh, it's ethically harvested. And we just love that idea. And then it comes up here where you've got a similar river and you've got the forest. It's not that different, it's just colder. But we put in a lot of long hours uh, because it's the individual origin cacao bean that dictates the process it needs to give what it has. Uh, we are exactly at the micron level one. We use a horse syringe to temper our chocolate and mold it because it gives us exactly one ounce at a time. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, you have to be mindful of what you're doing and be sensitive to all the different levels of flavors that the bean has to give. But you see those beans starting 
And that's all it is. It's just that and sugar. And it takes 48 to 54 hours. And you come out with this magic. It just 